at the end of the day, you can get a lot of really great information for free online, but sometimes you need to have that in-person connection to be able to really resonate with something. This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Michelle Norris. Previously, episode 701 of the 12 Minute Convos podcast. It's been just three years, one month, and one day since we last had that conversation. Let's continue to do the good work and spread the good word of health and wellness and um, helping people become vibrant, fulfilled human beings. That was then, this is now. Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous. How are you? I am excellent. It's such a great pleasure to reconnect with you. Get to figure out if you've continued doing what you are or what you set out to do. What's the update? What's new? Well, let's see. We have um, partnered with Upgrade Labs and Tim Gray to um, bring Health Optimization Summit to London. And so uh, something that we're really excited about and very proud of. And uh, we have opportunities to go to other countries at this point. And so um, that's kind of where that's probably the newest thing on the horizon right now. So we are really proud of um, how health optimization uh, turned out in uh, September in London. And so it was a really great experience. And uh, we're looking forward to doing it again. Well, for those that are listening for the first time and haven't heard your first episode, which was a few years ago, Paleo FX was the starting of what you do, right? You're the CEO of Paleo FX. And when we spoke, you were estimating that it would have gone from 4,000 to 5,000. And today I see, well, coming in on April 24th to 26, it's an expected 8,000 plus, right? Uh, yes, it is. And, um, It's been an interesting whirlwind for the last couple of years, really um, ramping the event up and increasing the capacity and increasing um, the the number of attendees coming through. So we kind of have a lofty goal. We hit just over 8,000 total attendance last year, but we're trying to hit 10,000 this year. So it's a very lofty goal. So, (laughs) but we're on track right now and, um, we are we are hoping we hit it. Well, from the perspective of what goes on in paleo with the seed, I would like to know if you've seen a parallel from the perspective of what we put into the soil. And if we look at the human body as the soil from the perspective as well as to dreams and visions and how those seeds as well grow into flourishing trees. Have you seen the parallel in that? Yes. Um, in fact, I was, that was one of the things I was just getting ready to say, you know, in, um, in our opinion, the more people that come through our doors, the more people who are um, truly having transformational experiences and changing their lives for the better and, and usually bringing somebody else along. So that really is one of the reasons we do what we do. Um, because, at the end of the day, um, you know, you can get a lot of really great information for free online, but sometimes you need to have that in-person connection to be able to really resonate with something. And sometimes the information out there can be kind of confusing because you have two super powerhouses that have differing opinions. And when we usually can get them on our stage and they can, you know, really get those those opinions down um, in, on one of our panels, then it usually helps a person that's kind of confused them saying, okay, who do I listen to? Do I listen to this person? Do I listen to this person? But usually sitting there, you can find resonance in what makes sense for you and for your body. And you can make a decision because you were there and you heard um, them talking and you heard their um, you know uh, debate over why they believe what they believe. And um, usually lots of science behind all of that, obviously. And so it's super helpful, I think, for people to be able to make a decision and um, feel like they um, were empowered to do so. Um, 
And when I say empowered, I think we just give them that information. They already have the power. It's just sometimes it takes that little nudge for them to actually feel like they can make a decision. Has the vision evolved from empowering people to become vibrant and fulfilled? Has it evolved from that? Uh, Yes. Um, So our theme this year for the 2020 event is to nurture destiny. Mm -hmm. And we believe that um, we are all here um, to actually nurture our destiny and that we're part of that. And we help people um, realize that we have the capability here already. We're not so far gone that we can't turn things around and that we want to help people understand that Eden's already here. We just need to uncover it. It's really fascinating, the connection to that earliest childhood memory where you and your brother waxed your parents' triumph, right? And of course, that didn't work out well, but the intention was great. You just needed a bit of coaching, if you would. And to see how you're doing that and you're consistently doing that, you've continued to help people. Would you say that your parents had an impact from the way they reacted, where you weren't scolded for attempting to do something great, even though it was terrible, right? Would you say that you've seen that, that they have impacted you from that perspective? Wow, you know, honestly, I haven't really thought about that. I don't know how much impact. I do remember that. I um, remember being scolded for it, but not terribly because really it was you know, my grandparents were watching us and <laughs> weren't watching us obviously very well. We were, I was, uh, I think I was a little over two years old. So I was really young. Um, so I don't know how much impact that had on me. Well, if not even that specific event, would you say your parents in the way they brought you up had a tremendous impact on what you do today? Um, I honestly would say no. My parents are not terribly um, into health and my parents are not... um, uh, Mindful of it, would you say? But it's really cool that there are two ways that someone can learn, right? You can learn from what someone does or you can learn what someone doesn't do as well. uh, True. Now, I would say in that respect, I would say that I did recognize some time ago that taking care of myself was not just an act for myself, but was an act for everyone who loves and cares about me. Mm -hmm. And so in that perspective, yes, that would have definitely, I definitely made the decision that I was going to take care of myself because it was what was fair to everyone around me who loved me and um, who depended on me. Mm -hmm. And so I would say, yeah, in that respect that there's definitely been impact there. How has it impacted your relationship with Keith? Well, currently at the moment, I have a broken ankle. And so we were hiking when it happened together. And it's really um, made me understand the fact that I have have to rely on him right now for a lot of things because I'm on crutches and uh, we have stairs inside of our house. And so being able to just take simple things from one room to the other is almost impossible for me because I'm on crutches. So for him, I have to rely on him. And and in my opinion, that is probably solidified more now that I really have to take care of myself because um, to be a burden on someone else is not something that I want. And particularly that my husband, the love of my life, having him um, just being a burden on him is not something I want. And I know that's not something he would ever want as well um, in the reverse. So it's just probably really solidified that for me that I really have to take really good care of myself and make sure that I don't put him in a position or myself in a position where I have to burden someone else or be reliant on other people. Hmm. But I am very blessed because he is taking really great care of me. And so are the people here that I love. My family, my son is here. And so, and then just great team members that have been here and have been very helpful. So that's wonderful. Well, it's really great to hear how things have evolved in your life. Four children, three that are still around, right? One isn't with us any longer. How have they been impacted by everything that goes into Paleo FX? Well, one of our sons, the one that's here currently, Chase, he actually works for us. He's our logistics coordinator and has been the logistics coordinator since 2014. Um, so he's pretty well impacted by everything we do at the Paleo <laughs> Effect. Um, our son, Cleet, worked for us for a short time when he first moved to Texas. And I think he really enjoyed what we do and everything. He is now has 
another job and is very happy where he's at. And I think he appreciates what we do, but unfortunately he's not really part of it. And then our daughter, Kaylee, just gave us our first grandbaby. Wow, congratulations. Yes. Um, so he will be five months uh, at the end of the month, but she lives up in Maryland. So we don't get to see her very often. We just got to see her a um, couple of months ago. But our new grandbaby is absolutely beautiful and we're in love. So <laughs> I know the feeling. My son is exactly the same age, my third son. Well, I'm not sure about the grandparent feeling, right? <laughs> I know my father says that he makes this joke. He says, if he knew that grandchildren were so great, he would have had them first. <laughs> exactly. I agree. I'm so in agreement. It's um, so true. Well, my friend, it's such a pleasure. And again, I want to say that it is inspirational and motivational to see that you have continued on the journey that you set out on. It's really, really remarkable in hindsight to see how things have grown. And it's because you did not give up. Of course, amazing audience, you can check out paleofx.com, an amazing event that's coming up on April 24th to 26. Is there anywhere else you'd like to point people to? Um, yes. If anyone is interested in our health entrepreneur event, um, which is the day before Pale Effects on the 23rd, um, we will be holding that once again. It is a limited um, mastermind and um, you do have to apply to come, but it is uh, so impactful. And everyone that has attended in the past has talked about the great impact that that it's had on their business particularly. And so we want to be able to support the people that are passionate about what they do, but they may not really know, understand business and how to run a business. And so we try to give them the tools to help them do that in this one day mastermind. Love it. Again, Michelle Norris, this was such a great pleasure. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This podcast is produced by Pod Edits. Visit podedits.com for professional podcast publishing.